Kingdom Blessings. I'm Pastor Sheila, and this is Moet Shelraga, the appointed time of refreshing. Let's be refreshed today with the Word of God, coming from Ephesians chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. I'm reading from the Life Application Study Bible, and it says, Salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done. So none of us can boast about it. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so that we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. The note says we become Christians through God's unmerited favor, not as a result of any effort, ability, intelligent choice, or act of service on our part. However, out of gratitude for this free gift, we will seek to help and serve others with kindness, love, and gentleness, and not merely to please ourselves. While no action or work we do can help us obtain salvation, God's intention is that our salvation will result in acts of service. We are not saved merely for our own benefit, but to serve Christ and build up the church, build up the kingdom. We are God's masterpiece, his work of art, his workmanship. Our salvation is something only God can do. It is his powerful, creative work in us. If God considers us his masterpiece. We dare not treat ourselves or others with disrespect as inferior work. So beloveds, today be reminded that we are God's masterpiece. We are his artwork. So how dare we hate ourselves? How dare we talk about someone else? Because everyone has been made by God. And everyone is his masterpiece. So because God has created us as his masterpiece, it is our job to fulfill the duty, the call of service to him. Not out of compulsion, but out of love, out of gratitude. Because he loves us so much. We are his masterpiece. And he chose us. He made us. We didn't choose him. Isn't that awesome to know that we were fearfully and wonderfully crafted by God and he calls us a masterpiece? Not junk, but a masterpiece. So put a smile on your face. Hold your head up high, not boasting in you, but boasting that you are God's masterpiece. That you reflect the love of our Father. That you reflect God and make sure that you are reflecting the right characteristics. How do you know that? Read the word and find out who your Father is and make sure that you are portrayed like a piece of artwork, the love, the joy, the peace, the long-suffering, gentleness, meekness, temperance, faith of your Father, Almighty God. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you. Thank you for crafting us wonderfully. Thank you for declaring that we are your masterpiece and father just like a masterpiece is valuable we thank you that you have put value to our lives because we were made by you father help us to show forth your love your joy your peace your long suffering in our lives that you would get the glory that others will see our good work and glorify you, our Father, which is in heaven. God, we love you so much. 
We appreciate you. We appreciate all that you've done, how you gave yourself for us through dying on the cross. Thank you, Jesus. We love you. We bless you. And we honor you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, this has been Moet Shalraga, the appointed time of refreshing. Continue to be blessed, revived, and refreshed in the presence of the Lord. Shalom.